Hello everyone. Very good evening. Welcome back to Pantek e-learning channel. This is R. Divyanjali from Pantek. Pantek is a platform where a person can experience, innovate and implement different research and development works over this platform. Firstly, I would like to welcome all the participants to the pleasant evening session. Welcome dear participants. Today, we are on the fifth day session of our web development using React.js masterclass. So, on this fifth day, we are going to learn something about the various folder structures explanation and with a simple hello world application. So, before moving on to the today's session, let me quickly remind you what we have learned in the last previous four day session. On the first day, we have started learning about the very basic introduction to web development, which includes what is web development, why we are using it, why we are using it, what is its importance, and what are the various industrial applications of web development it is. Okay. And also, we have even executed a simple hello world application in a notepad, right? From notepad, sorry. Yeah, on day two, we have started learning about the very basic introduction to React.js. What is this React.js? Why we are using this? What is its uniqueness? What is so special about this? What are the various features, benefits, advantages? And then we also have learned about the various applications of React.js, right? On day three, we have quickly rewind about the summary of React.js. Along with that, we also have installed what are the various softwares installed, uh, install required to install in our system to work with our applications, right? So, what are the various softwares which we have used? The first one is VS Code Editor Window. Second one, Node.js. Third one, XAM, XAMPP. So, these are the three softwares which are very much required to work with our web development applications that to using React.js, okay? Fine. So, this is what we have learned on day 3. On day 4, we have started learning how to create a simple, simple React application. Our first React application has been already created. I hope all the participants might have created your first React application, right? So, today we are on the fifth day session of our full stack web development using React.js masterclass, where we are going to discuss about what are the various folders present? What is the structure of various folders? And then we also will execute a simple hello world application using this React Rays. So, without any delay, we will move on to the today's session. Yeah. So, folders in VS, VS Code and we are going to learn about hello world in React. How to develop a hello world application using React Rays. Yeah. So, first we will learn something about React.js, which we have already learned, but just we will rewind it, okay? It is a JavaScript library created by Facebook, a user interface library and a tool for building user interface components. So, what is the architecture of the basic application? Yeah, so React library is just a user interface library. It does not enforce any pattern to writing a complex application. The developers are free to choose the design pattern. The community advocates specific design patterns. One of the patterns is flux pattern. React library ha also have lot of concepts like higher order component, context, render properties, references, which are very better to make my code so unique. So here is how to structure React project. Yeah, there is no best uh, best way or best project architecture we have. Whatever suits my application, that I can implement it. Yeah. So here are a few steps to be followed. First, when project set up for React library, React application. Next, first let us set up the development environment. Next, VS Code with the various extensions as a code editor. Google Chrome as a browser provides multiple developer-friendly tools for debugging. And as the debugging tool, React developer tools and Redux dev, dev tools are very useful. Now we can use CLI to create a new project. 
Now React.js that is created using create React app gives some default code. So let's delete almost everything like logos, images, styling like that and keep the skeleton application base one. Okay. And now that we can start, what are all the various folders that are present? Okay. So before that, here is an announcement regarding your internship. So if you wanted to convert this master class as an internship program by associating with APSSDC, you can just contact the number which is displayed on the screen. So this internship has few benefits which includes 30 days live sessions will be provided and you can access that recording videos for 90 days. Next, 8 plus source codes you will be getting and 30 downloadable presentations. 6 mentors live support will be there. Next, internship confirmation letter and internship certificate. This and all we are going to provide. Okay. And you will be having the projects like tour management application, chat application using React.js, quiz application using React.js, weather application, library management, plant management, react calculator. So you are going to develop 8 plus projects along with me. Here is the registration fees. Actual fees is 1999 but use this coupon you will be getting the discount for 999 rupees you will be getting the induction. This is the registration link you will be getting this. Okay. Yeah. Here comes our folder structure, right? What are all the various folder structures present? Okay. So what is the folder structure for React project? Here are various folders which includes assets folder, layout folder, components folder, pages folder, middleware folder, routes folder, configuration folder, services folder, util, utils folder. Okay. First, let us discuss about assets folder. As the name says, it contains assets of our project. It consists of images and styling files as well. Here, we can store our global styles. We are centralizing the project. So, we can store the page-based or component-based styles over here. We can even keep the style according to the pages folder or component folder also. But, it depends on the developer comfortability. Next comes layout folder. As the name says, it contains layouts available to the whole project like header, footer, like that. When we create a web page, what is the basic layout of my complete folder or complete file or a complete web application? So that can be implemented using this layout folder. Next, here comes components folder. Components are the building blocks of any React application. This folder consists of a collection of user interface components like buttons, models, inputs, loader, etc. So that can be used across various files in the project. Each component should consist of a test file to do a unit test as it will be widely used in the project. Next comes page folder. The files in the page folder indicates the root of the React application. Each file in this folder contains its root. A page can contain its subfolder. Each page has its state and is usually used to call an asynchronous operation. It usually consists of various components grouped together. Next comes middleware folder. This folder consists of middleware that can allow for side effects of the application. It is used when we are using Redux with it. Here we keep all our customized middleware components. Next comes roots folder. This folder consists of all the roots of the application, base of the application. It consists of private, protected and all types of roots. Next comes configuration folder, which consists of a configuration file where we store environment variable in configuration.js file. We will use this file to set up multi-environment configurations in our particular application. Here comes service folder which includes which will be added if we use Redux in our application. Inside it, there are three folders named Actions, Red Users and Constant Subfolders to manage the states. The Actions and Red Users will be called in almost all the pages. So create Actions, Red Users and Constants according to the pages name. The last one that is utils folder which consists of some repeatedly used functions that are commonly used in the basic application. 
it should contain only some common javascript functions and objects like drop down options regression condition and data formatting yeah here comes how to create a simple hello world app using react js so we'll go to start or programs type here vs code open the file or open the editor Now go to terminal. Once again, I'm explaining you here how to create your application. Just go to start or programs type VS Code. Open that. Now go to terminal option. Create new terminal. Okay. Now here you have to type cd space dot dot. Click on enter. Now type here D drive. Next here npx space create React app. Give here my my uh, application name something like I'll give app. Okay, so this is what I have given the application name as. Now click on enter. It is going to create my application now here. One minute. npx create React app. I'll give something like action. Just wait, it will be creating the application. Yeah, it's creating in D drive. So before creating, it will be installing, installing the required packages to work with. Then, and then it will install the dependencies, required dependencies. And then it will be creating a basic application. Okay. After creating the application, we have to Right, or we have to program our task or our applications into the app.js file. I'll tell you that. Just give me one minute. Let them install and create the application. It's taking time to install the required packages. Let us wait. Yeah, now it's installing the template dependencies using npm package, node package manager. Now that we have created the application, now we will open the folder. Go to File, click here, Open Folder. But suppose if the folder is there, you will click on Open Folder. Else, we will go to New File. Wait. Okay, we'll go to open folder. We'll select already the folder is there in our system. Hello world one. Okay, just select that over here. It will be opening that folder. Yeah. So this is the base program actually. Import React component from React library file. Next, give the class name as application, which is extending from components. Next, render. Render function displays the data on the web page. It helps to display the data on the web page. Next, return function. Now, give the main, main code, okay, that will be written in this div block, okay. Here, h1 represents header, okay, h1. So, I have given some content over here and closed it. You can give welcome world, hello world, like that, anything. I gave here welcome to Pandit e-learning channel like that. Now close all the brackets and give here the last default statement as export default application. Okay. Now what you have to do is here, click on npm start. Type it and just click on enter. So this is what our first application. Hello world, you can type hello world instead of this complete sentence. Okay. If you want, I'll just give you that as also here. Hello world. Right. Now save the file here. Terminate the previous program. Now again run the code. You'll be getting the output as hello world.
we got right very good so next what we'll do is we will make some changes in the program okay something like the same application only but we write here constant my style is equal to now here we'll be writing font size you can give any size here i'll write 100 pixel comma next write here color is equal to next give the color here like blue give here some space you are also put it in blue color next font family i will give something like times new roman okay now finish this now return block div block i'm so sorry yeah h1 space my style is equal to yeah hello world we have typed one i have the same application over here one minute here h1 style is equal to my style and give your hello world close the header tag check with this okay here we will give colon okay now save the file terminate the previous program now type here npm start so the same hello world only we are going to display on the web page let us see what is the difference what is the difference between the previous application and now application it's like color customized way right so this is how we can do customization i hope you are understanding so here is how react native application going to work so first you have to start your emulate emulator and make it live create a directory in your any drive and command prompt open from the command prompt as well so you can even execute the code from command prompt directly how i'll tell you now go to start go to file explorer yeah one moment yes so d drive here we have executed now the title under the caption what was the application name world right where it is yeah this is what open this now select this path type here cmd click on enter now here you have to type npm space start now the same execution will be done now 
in the website. Just type yes, click on enter. It will be executing now. Yes. So we executed the same application directly from command prompt without opening the code, right? Because already we have given the code, we are just executing from the command prompt. This is one way of executing a program from command prompt. Yeah, this is about the benefits of internship, which I have already mentioned you at the starting of the session. If you are interested, you can enroll for the internship. This is the coupon. If you use this coupon, you will be getting the discounted for 9.99 rupees. Use this registration link for enrolling for internship. You can even follow Panthic e-learning in different social media like Facebook, Instagram, podcast, YouTube. Okay. And if you really like the session, if you really enjoyed the session, please do click on like, comment, share and subscribe to Panthic e-learning channel if you are the first time visitor. And last but not least, thank you all. Have a very nice time.